MCAT 2015 CRAM Physical Foundations Question Flashcard 37 Creating Positive Torque Ladder System All right, let's delve into the question. A ladder of length L, 6 meters, propped up on the wall at a height of 5.1 meters above the ground. The bottom of the ladder is positioned at a distance 3 meters from the wall. There are static frictional forces at the wall and the ground to keep the ladder in place. Which of the following force components creates a positive uh, torque? So a positive torque would be like this way in the um, counterclockwise direction if the fulcrum is placed right here at the bottom of the ladder. And for those of you who don't know, um, a fulcrum is just the axis or point of rotation, sort of like an elbow joint. And torque is a twisting force or a rotational force, okay? All right, so this is a reference. It's like a major hint to help you solve this problem. F sub NW equals the normal force from the wall, so this type of force. F sub MG equals the normal force pushing up from the ground. F sub W is a friction force at the wall opposing the fall of the ladder, and F sub G is the friction force at the ground going um, this way to the right, opposing the fall of the ladder at the ground. So the answer choices are A, F sub M N W sine of theta, B, F sub N G cosine of theta, um, C, W, that's the weight, Cos times the cosine of theta, or S sub W sine of theta. And the theta refers to this angle of inclination here, right here, okay? So I'll give you a moment to think and draw out your free body diagram or your force diagram, and definitely press pause as long as you need to. All right, so let's delve into the solution. Okay, so um, the forces need to be resolved along the plane of the ladder such that they have, let's say, like an x-axis and a y-axis perpendicular to that, sort of like how you would analyze the forces on an object on an inclined plane. So since the fulcrum is placed at the bottom of the ladder, and F sub NG, that's the normal force pushing up from the ground, um, acts at the fulcrum, it's not considered to produce any sort of torque. So this is just something conceptual that you can memorize. Any force acting directly at the fulcrum won't produce a torque, okay? Um, F sub NW, that's the normal force from the wall, points directly outward from the wall to the left, okay? F sub NW cosine of theta would be the component along the ladder, and um, the reason why it's considered cosine of theta is because let's pretend like we have a theta right here in this little crevice. Then this component would be adjacent to that angle, so that's why it's modified by cosine of theta, because if you remember Sakatoa from um, trigonometry, uh, cosine is the coa part, or the co rather, and that's um, opposite, no, adjacent over uh, hypotenuse, okay? So that's that. why that's modified by a cosine theta, this component right here. So that's along the plane of the ladder. So it's not going to do much uh, in that position. But uh, N, F sub NW sine theta 
that's the component perpendicular to the um, f sub cosine f sub n w cosine of theta. It's actually a force that would create a positive uh, counterclockwise torque in the ladder because it's pushing out towards the um, left, okay? So that's one possibility. And F sub W um, points from the contact point in the ladder. Well, F sub F, F, sub F W, that's like the friction force. Um, it points from the point of contact in the ladder that goes upwards along the wall to oppose for falling. And F sub NW sine theta would be the force component along the plane of the ladder pointing um, into the wall, okay? So th there's nothing there. But um, F sub W or F sub FW cosine of theta is pointing in a similar direction as F sub NW sine theta. It's also a force that creates a counterclockwise torque, okay? So um, if we like form like a triangle, this would be, this would be, um, let's see, theta would be right here actually. So that's why this component is F sub uh, FW, no, 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 actually, let's see. Theta would be right here, like in this little corner. Okay, that's why this is the adjacent side. That's kind of irrelevant. So that's one of the two possibilities of forces that create a um, counterclockwise rotation or a positive torque, okay? Now W, that would be the weight or the force due to gravity, is always going to point downward. Specifically here, it's pointing downward from the center of the ladder. So um, it's tugging down, but it's not producing, a, let's say, a counterclockwise or a positive rotation. But we have W cosine of theta, which is perpendicular to the plane. And we didn't write in W sine of theta, which um, also goes along the plane of the ladder and it's not going to do anything as far as rotation. So because W cosine of theta is perpendicular to the plane and it's tugging down towards the um, southeast direction, it's going to create a clockwise rotation in the ladder. That's opposite of what we're looking for. That would be in this scenario, a negative rotation. So that's not our answer. The correct answer choice is going to be um, answer choice A, F sub NW, the normal force, the uh, sine of theta component shown here. And it was one of these two, but F sub FW cosine of theta isn't listed as um, one of the possibilities. So we had to go with the normal force of the wall. Okay. All right.